Hey, it's Chris Landry again from Soundings. Have you heard of pod propulsion? No? Well, where have you been? Over the past six or seven years, pods have made their way into the recreational boating market. They're mounted on the hull underneath, and they move by themselves, self-articulating is what they call it. Great maneuverability, better fuel economy, and also joystick helm control. Pods started out powering boats in the 40-foot range, but now they're being installed in smaller and larger vessels. Competition among these pod producers has increased with ZF Marine joining Volvo Penta with its IPS and Cummins Mercruiser Diesel with its Zeus. Caterpillar also expects to offer a pod, too. In the next issue of Soundings, I'll explain the pros and cons of pods, which boat types they are best suited for, how much more they cost than conventional inboards or outboard powered boats, and also, I talked to a number of different boat builders about the future of pod technology. And one thing is for sure, they're not going away.